Hi, this is Shadi and today we are going back to 1937 to watch an old NCAA wrestling championship and upon seeing this footage I was absolutely amazed and blown away. The richness of the groundwork is absolutely amazing. Uh, I don't know about the state of wrestling now when it comes to groundwork but I know that avoiding the pin turtling are a staple but here I saw a great uh, guard play and takedowns very similar to judo and bjj and we're gonna go through it uh today so what i really like is the somewhat upright posture and then from there gripping the upper bodies and from there going to the legs here you see it's like an arm drag uh, no gi arm drag very similar to an ukiwaza but without the gi uh, john danaher is very big on this uh takedown here you see his uh, disciple gary tonin uh, doing it more than once and doing it brilliantly here see he gets the grips uh, again and then from it he goes to uki waza or simply arm drag takedown and then from it to yoko guruma or daki wakari whatever you want to call it so let's continue on here grips trying to sweep with like a sumi gaishi as you can see hooking here he recovers guard and then from it, it tries to sweep with Sumi Gaishi. Let's see it one more time. Slips his legs in, drags his lat, and shoots with the leg up. We can't talk about Sumi Gaishi sweeps without talking about the queen of Neiwaza, Shori Hamada, Olympic champion. It's her specialty. Let's see here, she does like a Ude Garami grip and then uh, ties with the belt and the skirt and then sweeps with sumigaishi this is your basic sumigaishi as a takedown or a sacrifice throw you hook your ankle and the shoelace part of your leg on the lower part of the thigh just above the knee on the inside and then you sacrifice yourself backwards and using the leg as leverage to hurl them over for the epon so let's continue onwards here from the parterre position goes turns around inserts leg in does like what is called a knee shield classical way to avoid a pin this is from katami no kata a demonstration um, is one of the methods of escapes where you insert your uh, shin in and recover guard katami no kata from the 1880s so here you see a judoka after a failed sacrifice, Mariyama shields with his knee and does like a De La Hiva hook. Here, let's see again, shields. And from there, he actually gets his leg over, like a overhook on the arm and shields with his knee. This is absolutely brilliant. And then after he's passed, he turtles uh, yet again. So here, let's see an Ukiwaza once again, but this one is from the, like, both hands clinching the upper body let's see again here ukiwaza followed by another ukiwaza let's see it in slow motion again absolutely brilliant the guard play the uh, how they prevent the other from getting pinned the ukiwaza very similar to joshiro maruyama in 2019 world championship against hifumi abe gets an arm over the top sacrifices himself throws hifumi diagonally for Ukiwaza extending his leg to block a step in. Let's see the basic form of Ukiwaza, which is from the sleeve and the lapel. You throw them diagonally as you are retreating. You throw them sideways diagonally, extending the leg to prevent a step over to regain uh, balance. So this is the basic form. Obviously, you can do it from like an over, uh, like a hand that's over the top, uh, Georgian grip, Russian grip, overhook, underhook, no gi. Uh, but this is the basic form in judo um let's see it one more time some would argue it's a yokoguruma but i wouldn't say so let's continue on here you can see inserting both his legs like a, what is called a butterfly guard and tries to pull back and shoot upwards here let's see mark housinga demonstrating it again a basic sweep you can still see it till this day in judo not necessarily a newaza fight or bjj and here sweeps into Kuzure Keiza Gatame. Let's see a competition example of how it actually transpires uh, in judo. This is an old fight from the 90s, I believe. Bam Housinga tries to flatten him out. 
and grabs the belt and collar. Hikikomi guy, she pulls him in, sweeps him to the side, and gets the pin. Let's see a 2021 example by Tsukasa Yoshida. Pulls her into her, hooks both legs, and tries to sweep, but she has a very strong base with the arms and extending the leg, but eventually she gets it against Nora Jakova and gets the pin eventually. Um, here, this is just in your face guard play you can actually hip thrust sweep or if there's submissions obviously you can go for a slew of submissions uh, like here you pinch the shoulders with like a triangle and then from it you actually go into juji getame and this is hexen's favorite variation of armbar from guard um, also you can do you know cross chokes you can do triangle chokes um, a slew of submissions uh, from this particular position it's uh, one of the most offensive positions according to Keenan Cornelius so here let's see another one where you actually pull in the legs are open you triangle uh, over the shoulder arm and the head blocking the uh, blood flow obviously getting the tap so um, this is not a like a tight triangle but it can still work I've gotten the tap from this position if they have if they happen to have big shoulders you can get the tap from this it might not, not look very tight but um, if their shoulders and arms are like really big you can actually block the blood flow so let's uh, I think this is the final example but what I really like is even from starting like what you saw from the beginning the uh, position was actually just almost upright and getting the clinch on the top and from there attacking the legs and this is something that I've always uh, wanted for judo is that you get an upright posture she's in hontai and from there you actually engage in kumikata and if you if needed you go down to the leg uh, with like kataguruma teguruma uh, whatever uh, it may be obviously with a jacket you can uh, manage to hold upright even more because uh, the distance is uh, far bigger and you can control much more with the jacket. Uh, Neil Adams, as he said, you know, when me and the wrestler, we uh, wore a jacket, uh, I was able to hold him off uh, with, with leg attacks, etc. He was able to hold him off with just the grips and hip defenses and they were both standing upright. But when they took off the jacket, he said, and I quote, he mauled me. So because there's nothing for him to hold on to and to keep him at bay so obviously the wrestler was in his element uh, when they took off the jacket but when it comes to judo I always advocated for if you want to attack the legs it should come from an upper body grip so here they demonstrated it didn't look like you're wrestling like today incredibly hunched over trying to go for the legs uh, and also just the richness of the groundwork was absolutely amazing so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below consider supporting me on patreon i post once a week exclusively for the patrons only over there and your support would mean greatly also don't forget to check out josh simon's shop in the description this was shady and thank you for listening